Today we have a great coaster fight for you. This is Banshee at King's Island versus Afterburn at Carowinds. Both of these are fantastic B&M inverted roller coasters. I absolutely love both of them. They are my two favorite inverts that I have ridden. And to this day, I'm still not sure which one I like better. So to help me decide, that is why we have this coaster fight in place. So I have several different categories set up so that we can determine the better ride. And so I'm going to waste no more time and get right into it. So first up, we have the category of how tall these two roller coasters are. Banshee sits at a height of 167 feet and Afterburn at a height of 113 feet. So Banshee is taller by about 50 feet, so for that reason, Banshee will take the first point. Next up, we have the drop. For this, this does not matter about how tall they are. This is purely about which drop is better. And here's what I like about Banshee's drop. It doesn't have the pre-drop that Afterburn and most other B&M inverts have. It goes straight down into it, and because of that, the drop feels a lot steeper. So I'm gonna give the drop category to Banshee. Great first drop. Also, just on a side note, I like how with Banshee, it does the scream as you're about to drop. That Banshee scream is awesome. I'm going to talk more about that in the theming category. But first, we have the speed. For this, we're looking for the fastest roller coaster, and they're actually pretty close. Banshee's maximum speed is 68 miles per hour, and Afterburns is 62. So Banshee's only faster by about 6 miles an hour. It's not much, and you won't really notice the difference if you're riding these two coasters, but because this part of the coaster fight is based off of the stats, I'm going to have to give this one to Banshee, which means Banshee leads 3-0. However, Afterburn's going to have a chance to catch up. I've decided to give the smoothness category to Afterburn. This may shock some of you, but when I rode Banshee, there was a very slight, slight, very slight rattle to it, which was really disappointing. I was expecting it to be glossy smooth, and unfortunately, I did not find it to be that case. I mean, it was still pretty smooth. I'd probably give it like a 9 out of 10 for smoothness, but that unfortunate rattle is the reason why I'm going to give the point to Afterburn. Afterburn has zero rattle, and I love how it is glossy smooth. And so that is that. So now we have the inversions category. And this is a tough one. Banshee has one more inversion than Afterburn, but all of the inversions on these coasters are fantastic. There's not a single bad inversion on either one of these roller coasters. So I was really struggling with this one with which roller coaster should get the point. But I decided to give it to Banshee, not because it has one more inversion, but because of that last inversion. You go so slow through it, it's a crazy experience. But I mean, in all fairness, both of these roller coasters have such great inversions, so Banshee's only getting that point by a minor hair. Next, we have the intensity category. And like the inversions, I also struggled with this one. Which coaster is more intense? Both of these are good with the intensity. They both provide intense rides, but even though both of them were intense, I think that the winner here was a little bit more clear than the inversions category. And it may surprise you, I'm giving this one to Afterburn. I'm not sure why, and I don't really question it, but for some reason, I found Afterburn to be more intense than Banshee. My theory is that Banshee is more spread out when it comes to one element to the next, and Afterburn is more bam bam bam, one element after another. So I think that's why Afterburn is a bit more intense, at least in my opinion. Next is the duration. For this, we're naturally looking for the longer ride. And according to RCDB, Banshee runs for approximately 2 minutes and 40 seconds, and Afterburn runs for 2 minutes and 47 seconds. However, that is not how I determine the winner of this category. What I do is I look at how much time you're actually spending on the ride from the lift hill to the brake run because some lift hills are naturally going to be slower than others. So this is completely ignoring the lift hill part of the roller coaster. So after watching a couple POVs of these roller coasters, I was able to determine the longer ride, and that was Banshee. Banshee spends more time going from one element to the next than Afterburn. So Banshee's going to take that point, which means we're at our final category, the theming. Afterburn is themed to a jet fighter pilot. There's a little bit of theming around there. The station is kind of themed to a hangar, and you have a giant jet next to Afterburn's Zero G roll. But you got to give this one to Banshee because this is probably one of the better themed roller coasters at a Cedar Fair Park. I love how the station looks for Banshee. It's essentially a haunted church. There's gravestones all around it, and it tells a story more than any other roller coaster at King's Island. And I really like that, and so that is why Banshee's taking the point, which means Banshee has won this coaster fight. 
Both of these are fantastic B&M inverts, and even though Banshee won, I'm honestly still not sure which one I like better. Both of them are excellent roller coasters, but I gotta say congratulations to Banshee for winning this coaster fight. So thank you for watching. Which one of these roller coasters do you prefer? You can check out more coaster fights on my channel, and make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios.